All right, guys. Here we are again. My name is Jacob Talbot. Um, I thought I would do a, a EDC video, and for some of you who don't know, EDC means everyday carry stuff that you carry every day, or at least a lot of the time. And by a lot, I mean maybe at least three to five days out of the week. No less than three days out of the week, you have these items on you all the time. Let me uh, adjust the uh, just the camera real quick. So, as you can see before you, I have my uh, my gun. This weird looking thing is my holster. This here is a belt, wallet, Oakley sunglasses, and behind that's a knife, a can of dip, and right there is my hat. We're gonna go through all this. So, starting from let's say my front to Let's say this is the back and this is my front. So, starting from the front, we have a Ruger SR 1911, chambered in 45 ACP. I carry this thing every single day of my life. I carry it in a uh, in a backpack. I shoot a 150 grain HPR Black Ops. This is an OTF, which stands for Open Tip Frangible. Um, moving on down the line, I, I used to, there's some stipulation behind this, I used to carry this knife, I fucking love this thing, it stays sharp, it's hard as shit, it's awesome, but, had an incident at work, and it's fuckered up, so I'm either gonna grind it, um, you know, be real careful and grind a new tip on it, or I'll just get a whole new one. Or I might be switching to something else. I might be switching to a uh, rather large cold steel knife. And uh, some of you might know what that is. Espada XL. Moving forward. Um, to go with my gun, I carry a, a holster. When I don't have my gun in my backpack. And we'll get to my backpack in a little bit. But I do have holster. It's just a real simple holster. I can adjust it with those three screws. Um, it locks in. Which is nice, because I open carry, so no one's just going to come up and take this thing. Um, unless you really know what you're doing, you have to push that button down and get it off. And I know a lot of people are saying, oh, I bet you shot yourself in the fucking leg. I'm not stupid. When I grab the gun, come out, and present is when the safety comes off. Bang. I don't reach for the gun, take the safety off. Because otherwise you will shoot yourself in the fucking leg. Now, to support my gun and all that, I have a Magpul Tejas gun belt. This is the best belt I have ever had. And I have had a lot of belts. This is Mag Magpul Tejas. I, I guess it's how you say Tejas, or I don't know. Some weird way to say Texas. T-E-J-A-S gun belt. Um, original leather. It's pretty cool. I like that freaking... Uh, that gunslinger skeleton guy. That's pretty cool. There's the Tejas logo. So we'll get that out of the way. Now we're getting down to these Oakleys. These are my Oakley fuel cells. These are in flat dark earth. I fucking love these things. They're well used. One of the O's fell out. Yes, they are real Oakleys, goddammit. I'm tired of people giving me shit about this. Um, they took a spill off the top of my toolbox, and uh, the O came out at work, so it got swept up. I don't know where the fuck it went. Um, just a Walmart wallet, pretty much. Um, some of you know that I lost my wallet, so I had to go out and get a new one. So there ain't shit in this but a debit card and a business card. Can of dip. You will never, ever, 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 ever catch me without a can of dip. Speaking of which, let's uh, let's get into this thing. Now, usually it's um, it's a variety of three things: Copenhagen Mint, Grizzly Dark Premium Wintergreen, or Copenhagen Straight. Um, I'm not a big fan of Copenhagen Wintergreen. Um, a lot of you know that I'm not a wintergreen fan at all, but lately I've been slowly making a switch into wintergreen. I like that grizzly, that uh, that grizzly stuff. 
So here we are getting into the hat. The story behind this hat is some of you have seen my, my custom built rifle that I built. Um, it's a Vortex hat with a good luck fishing hook on it. Um, the truth is behind my uh, that hat, I got it for free from Vortex, which is awesome. I, uh, I had lost a screw to my Strike Fire 2 on uh, my red dot on my custom built rifle. And um, I looked for it, looked for it, looked for it. And as it turns out, it had just fallen back into the box because I was trying to fuck with the scope inside my girlfriend's car instead of I was impatient and uh, instead of waiting until I got home so I sent Vortex a message saying hey I lost a screw can you you know send me something and they're like sure what's your address and this was all over Facebook by the way there was no email no phone call it was just on Facebook I messaged them on Facebook I'm like sure what's your address I'm like really that was quick and I gave him my address blah 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 and uh they're like, yeah, it's on its way. I said, can you throw in like a hat or some stickers? And I love fucking stickers. I'll show you my dresser. Um, and they're like, yeah, no problem. So I got a whole new set, a whole replacement set of screws for my Vortex Strike Fire 2. And I got a free hat. Um, one thing that I don't like is it's trucker style, but I freaking love this thing. I love the color. Um, it's well used, well abused. Um, Honestly, my hats, they get beat up. They really do. I use them for um, gloves. Like if I'm grabbing something hot, I'll take my hat off and grab it. Or if I'm, I'm I've used my hats to clean shit off the floor. Honestly, my hats get fucking beat up. The next thing I carry with me is a mud jug. Two packs anymore and you're playing with it. I carry a mud jug with me to work. All this stuff I carry with me to work. Except for my holster. I, I, the only time I use my holster is when I'm not at work. Because I can't carry my gun when I'm at work. Which makes sense. I wouldn't want to carry a gun while I'm at, when I'm at my job. But I keep it in my bag. And I keep my bag in my, in my sights at all times. But I also carry a mud jug so I'm not spitting in the trash cans and a lot of the times people throw paperwork in the trash can and then they gotta go digging through my spit and fucking, it's not cool. But, mud jug, that's why. Alright, now we're gonna get into my backpack. Alright, so this is my backpack. This I bought this at Walmart. Um, funny story behind this bag is I saw somebody with it at welding school. And I wanted a backpack for so long. My girlfriend carries a backpack with her every day. And so I saw this thing. Uh, a guy had it at school. And I said, dude, I got to get that thing. He's like, I, I'm like, where'd you get it? And I thought it was going to be like, you know, $150, 5.11, you know, super tits, tactical, uh, you know, backpack. And he's like, oh, I got it at Walmart. So I went to Walmart and I saw this. And I freaking love this thing. But I am probably going to be making a switch to a uh, to a, a messenger bag, like a shoulder bag across the body. This video is going to be kind of long, so just bear with me. So, we will start from side pocket to center. So, this pocket is actually empty right now. But... It's a zipper pocket. I use that to carry all my dip and stuff. Um, on this pocket over here, this is gonna it's gonna be weird, but I have a shit ton of earplugs. And the reason why I have a shit ton of earplugs is because I do sandblasting at my job, and it's it's enclosed, and the decibels are so loud that it, my ears will ring and it will damage my hearing. And it also helps keep the sand out of my ears. Moving right along to this um, this vertical zipper right here. This is where I store my gun when I'm at work. And right now, all that's in there is just a spare magazine. Which I'm short two rounds out of this magazine. Which is not good, but it's, it's something. It's a backup. 
Moving right along into this upper pocket. So first off, right here. Just dropped a uh, root beer bottle. In this pocket, I carry Remington 230 grain full metal jacket. Um, right now, I currently have, let's see, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two. I have thirty-two rounds of two hundred and thirty grain full metal jacket. So let's say I'm on the wrong side of town. I got one mag in my gun full of hollow points. I got another mag full of hollow points, and then I got two hundred and thirty grain slugs. And I keep those, I keep all this stuff with me all the time. Another thing, I have road flares. I should have, I have three of them. These things are awesome. They're bright as shit. Um, these are Orion flares. They're handheld marine red signal flares. They're United States Coast Guard approved. And a lot of people ask me how do you use them. And these are also day and night signalers. See there's a sun and a moon right there. There you go. You can really see it there. But you remove this black cap. And there is your abrasive. You remove the red cap. Stick your finger inside the red cap. Put your cap, put the red cap on that little black button, and strike. And then you hold it away from away from your body because these will drip hot, hot mess everywhere. But these things are worth having. They're bright. They're good for signaling on the highway, up on top of a mountain, off of a boat, whatever. These things are awesome. I would buy these again. And as far as I know. That's everything in that pocket. Moving along into my bigger pocket. Um, I, I actually carry a spare set of socks. Um, the military does it. Why should I do it? Um, if I'm, let's say I'm out somewhere. Um, there's been a lot of times where I've stayed out of the house for 24 hours straight. And... It would be nice to fucking change into a nice clean pair of socks so that way my feet aren't stinking up and I don't have to throw away a good pair of socks. Also down in here, I carry a pocket juice. This thing is fucking incredible. This is so, so, so durable. I can't believe the amount of abuse this thing is taking. I've dropped it. It's like fallen and been tossed across the shop before. And it's it's got a seam right here and it's split open. Pushed it back together. It still works. And always, always, always keep your shit at full charge. Otherwise, it won't be there when you need it. Now this thing does take... It does have a built-in... Um, Samsung style charger or a galaxy charger I guess you would call it but let's say you have an iPhone or like me you have an LG V20 which takes a totally different charger it's got a USB port right there which is awesome and you can also charge it right there or it plugs into a standard 110 house outlet which is fucking awesome love this thing take it with me everywhere Anywhere. Also down in this pocket, I do carry. Let's see how how many feet is this? this I know it's a lot. Um, it says para eleven hundred. So I don't know. Oh, fifty feet. So fifteen meters. Um, this is paracord. It's I don't know if it's 550 cord or 1100. It says 1100 on the thing, but it's pretty much paracord. Um, it's 50 feet. 
you never know when you're going to need this. Let's say, you know, you want to string up a tarp or you got to, I don't know, haul big game up onto your truck. Um, you can actually loop this up a, sh a shit ton and use it for a tow rope. I've seen that kind of shit happen. Um, you can, I can tie up my bag, uh, you know, in a tree if I don't want people getting to it or if I don't want critters getting to it. Um, I could tie up my boots, make traps. I can do a lot with just this 50 feet of cord. And that's that's pretty much it. That's um, I do have an old shirt in here, but that's not something that I that I use daily. That's pretty much it. And I know there's not a lot here, but there is a few good things. Um, the road flares especially, uh, or the signal flares, I call them road flares. But the flares are definitely um, something that I would call a must-have. Uh, like I said, I would buy these exact flares again. And they have a shelf life that's fucking ridiculous. In fact, the, ma the manufacturing date was July of 2016. The expiration date is December of 2019. So I still got a long way to go with these. And I'll probably use all three of them. They come in a four pack. I used one because I wanted to see what it would be like. Um, I used one to light a fire. Oh, and by the way, they burn up to three minutes with a brightness of 700 candle power. Which, honestly, I lit it up and it's bright as shit. It is fucking ridiculous. But these are Orion flares. You can get these at Walmart. They're freaking worth it. I promise. Next up, it's a little bit of an oddball item. Boots. I wear these things every single day. These things do not have a day off. And on my right one, I ripped the bootstrap off and I thought, well, fuck. So I put my belt through this part and then it ripped up the side. Well, shit. But I, I used to have a bootstrap on this one, and I would use that, and I would just grab onto the flap right here. But the bootstrap came off that side, so now it's a little bit of a hassle to get the right one on. But honestly, these things do not get a day off. They go through uh, mud, snow. They I wear them when I sandblast. Uh, they go through water, everything. Everything on the face of the planet. These things have seen it. Um... The right one is still in good, or the left one is still in good condition uh, as far as the bootstraps go. But these are Justin's. Got J's on my feet, boy. And these are awesome. Really, they really, really are. So that's about it. Um, two things for the distant future. I really want to get a messenger bag you know like a like I said a I guess you can call it a man purse um, if I had a picture I'd show you but uh, just look it up tactical messenger bag or messenger style bag and you'll know what I'm talking about they're good for carrying um, my pistol because with my bag right now if I were let me zip it all back up And this is a budget backpack, by the way. I got it at Walmart. So the zippers aren't the best quality, but it does what I need it to do. I need it to hold my shit while I'm at work and while I'm in my vehicle. So, we're going to, and yes, I do carry chambered. You wanna, if you have a problem with it, go watch somebody else. So, nothing in the gun, nothing chambered. So, I am going to put my pistol in my bag, just like this. And I do carry one strap. When I'm hiking, I carry it too. But let's say, oh shit, all of a sudden there's trouble. It's 
not easy to find the zipper pull and I know I can get a lanyard for it but I can't get to it right handed now if I were to leave it like that then yeah I could get to it right handed but it's it's high snag you see that how it snagged coming out of there and then you know I can present and do what I need to do but it's not the greatest for you know getting into a gunfight it's not a gunfighter bag but neither is a messenger bag but it's easier it's almost like pulling from a holster because that bag is right where your holster would be so you know either a velcro you know grab that you can get out but it's it is easier so I will be switching to a messenger style bag also I am going to be switching pistols this thing has done everything that I asked for and even more and this is my dream gun this is my baby I will not sell this for anything I mean I could be laid up in the hospital on my deathbed and you know in debt medical bills and I still would not get rid of this thing um, it's it's coveted by me it's something that I've wanted for a really really long time um, I love 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 the uh, the 1911 platform people who say these aren't reliable I have had zero problems with this no stove pipes no failure to feeds no failure to extracts this is my baby but I am gonna be getting a new pistol and it is more suited to gunfighting and carrying I want to get a FN FNX 45 tactical now if you don't know what that is go look it up and you will see why I want it so this is pretty much my my EDC and you know I it looks like a lot but with a backpack it's not um, and like I said some of the stuff I only carry when I'm outside of work or when I don't have my backpack like my holster um, I don't wear this thing unless I'm in public you know when I'm off the clock um, as always everything rides in my backpack uh, all this shit does and it's really nice it's nice knowing where you know even little shit oh shit I'm stranded at work looks like I have to hoof it home well I got all this stuff that can get me out of a pinch I got the cord the uh, the paracord I got the phone charger let's say my phone starts dying halfway home um, people can still contact me I can still contact people a wallet is obviously everybody's got a fucking wallet if you don't have a wallet and you carry your shit loose in your pants you're you're kind of an idiot because that's how shit gets lost and ruined the road flares these are more for like road trips um, I do go on a lot of road trips I go cruising a lot and they're more of a survival thing if I'm out in the woods or something and um, I want to get a, a better flashlight I have like a I think it's like a 400 or a 600 lumen little cheapy flashlight. It takes um, three AAA batteries and the little carousel style uh, battery holder, I guess. Um, I want to get a better one, you know, like a Surefire or a, um, a Phoenix Light, a Phoenix like 900. That'd be pretty freaking dope, honestly. It'd be pretty dope as coke. So, yeah, um... All this stuff, I think everybody should have at least five of the things here. You know, being a a gun, a battery charger, um, a good belt. You know, a gun, battery charger, good belt, a hat, and a good pair of sunglasses. Honestly, all this stuff, it's it'll make your life go a lot easier. This has been another video. If you want to see another EDC update later on, I probably will have one um, when I get my messenger bag. And... Uh, so yeah, this is this is pretty much it. I think I got a good setup going. Um, I am in need of a knife, so stay tuned for that. Thanks. As always, like, share, comment, subscribe, comment. Please, please comment. It really helps out. Um, comment what you want to see.
and remember, I still have a bow too, so I'll, I'll, I'll shoot shit. I'll, I will shoot shit with my bow. I'll shoot, you know, iPhones and I'll, I'll shoot phones, microwaves. I'll, I'll, fu I will fucking shoot shit. I will snuff a candle out with my bow. I don't care. So, yeah, I, like, comment, share, subscribe, comment, 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 comment. I sound like a broken record now. Road flares, gun, battery, boots, road flares, road flares. <laughs> Alright guys, I'll see you later.